All right guys, so for dinner tonight, we're gonna make a pizza pie. Have you ever had a pie that's a pizza? No. No? All right, cool. So what we're gonna do is we have some of our garlic butter we made earlier. I'm gonna take and I'm gonna brush a little bit around the edges of this pan here, just like that. All right, then I have one pound of pizza dough here. I, it's about two thirds of it here and about one third here, but I'm gonna take that bottom two thirds and put it right in here. I'm gonna let it go all the way down into the pan. And I wanna let it kinda of go all the way into the corners, but I still wanna let it overhang just a bit. Otherwise it'll pull itself into itself from the gluten. All right, now that this is in here, Lucy, why don't you start by adding some cheese? Add half of one of those cheeses. You can pick which one. And then Oliver over here, we have the rest of the pepperoni from earlier. Go ahead. We've got, what does that look like? Beef. Beef, ground beef. And what, how about this? Uh, sausage. And sausage. So why don't you go ahead and pick one of those and put some of that in there. You can put some of the cheddar cheese in, Luce. We're just going to build kind of layers. Go right ahead, Lucy. Yeah, you can put a little more. Now go ahead with the beef, Oliver. So we're essentially gonna fill this shell with meat and cheese. No sauce in this. The sauce is kind of cool. It's gonna go on it afterwards. You go ahead. I'm gonna put some more mozzarella in there. Put the rest of it. You can put the rest of that. So we have mozzarella and a nice extra sharp cheddar, which I like the flavors. That looks pretty good. The rest of that can be snacks for you. Now, and you, yes, of course. I'm gonna take the top layer, layer right over the top. And now I'm actually gonna take and wet my fingers. I forgot to do this, but I'm gonna get the edge of the dough a little bit wet. I'm gonna take and cut right through and cut right around the edges. See how I said it's gonna shrink? It wants to shrink back on itself. It's like an elastic. Now, I'm gonna take our edges and go through and crimp them and pinch them together. So I'm just gonna give them a little pinch inside this dish. And what we're doing here is actually building the crust of our pizza right on top here. Then I need to actually stab this a couple times to give a little space for the air to come out while it bakes. But this is what we're looking for. What do you think? It looks good. All right, now we're gonna pop this in the oven for about half an hour and then we'll let it all melt and all cook. And then we'll put, oh, I do wanna brush it. I forgot. I wanna brush the top with some of our garlic butter before we put it in there. Then we'll get this into the oven. All right, so this just came out of the oven. I'm gonna show you here that the crust is golden brown. We don't have any leakage on the bottom. That's exactly what we wanna see. So Lucy, would you dump our sauce on top? And then Oliver, would you spread it around, please? Yep, that's great. Oliver, spread it around. So this has the sauce on the top. Just keep it right in the crust there. And before we cut our slice and put it on your plate, you guys read this evening's question? Sure. Sure. What is Chantilly cream? What is Chantilly cream? Great question. All right. We'll cut into this and get a slice on your plate, and then you can give it a whirl. All right, let's see how this comes out. Look at that. Isn't that pretty cool? Yeah. So all that cheese and all that meat, all in there. It's pretty hot, but why don't you guys go ahead and try a little bite off the side. Check that out right in there. You can see all those layers.
Good. Good.